I now request the patron of the C20 Secretariat, Sri Vinayaji Sahasrabuddhe, to give his closing remarks. Her Holiness Pujya Mata Amruta Ananda Mahi Devi Ji, our beloved Amma, our uh, very energetic and uh, I would describe him as a doer minister, somebody who not just talks but also undertakes and completes the work, uh, Sri Nitin Gadkari Ji, who very much belongs to this city. Nivedita Bhideji of the Vivekananda Kendra, the Sherpa of uh, C20, Vijay Nambiarji, G20 Su Sherpa, Shri Abhay Thakurji, and all the delegates of this uh, wonderful conference, the inception meeting of C20 Brothers and Sisters. Two days were really very enriching and there could not have been a better message coming from a person like Nitin Gadkari ji. In Hindi we call Marg Darshak, which is a person who shows us the path. But in real terms, Nitin ji, for many of us, is Marg Nirmata, who creates the path and then shows it to us. So I believe uh, when we leave Nagpur, some of us are leaving today, some of us are leaving tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we will be going back with renewed vigor, confidence and a courage of conviction. And Nagpur is the city which has a long history of uh, voluntarism. Yesterday also I had referred that this is the birthplace of the largest voluntary movement of the world and therefore uh, I am sure we will be going back and rededicating ourselves to the work of Seva, to the work of serving the cause of humanity. When uh, I just looked back at what all happened during all the two days and especially the deliberations this evening, Nivedita ji rightly commented and uh, presented her views about the challenges before all of us. She also referred to the challenge of new technology. But I believe voluntarism has the ability, has the potential of humanizing or rather spiritualizing technology. And with the blessings of a person no less than our beloved Amma, I am sure we can face the challenge of technology with a spiritualized approach. I know that we can humanize the mindlessness of technology with the heartfulness of spirituality. Technology, as Nivedita ji referred to, gives us chat GPT and spirituality teaches us deep affinity. We can overcome these challenges if we spiritualize voluntary work. And how do we do that? As a, a volunteer, as a social worker, I also see that NGOs, the voluntary organizations themselves, also are facing several challenges. The word NGO arrived because in a democratic welfare state, it was realized that only government organizations are not enough. And therefore, we require NGOs, that is non-government organization, which are supposed to be less bureaucratic and more compassionate. But with the passage of time, NGOs, sadly, in certain parts, are becoming like GOs, which is, they are also facing the challenge of bureaucracy and several such issues which otherwise are associated with any government work. And therefore, the challenge before the voluntary sector is that of restoring the purity of purpose and spirituality, I believe, teaches us the same thing. I am here to 
express our deep sense of gratitude towards one and all as patron of the C20 Secretariat. Let me start by expressing my deep sense of gratitude towards, first of all, our beloved Amma. Mata Amrutananda Maiji's presence over here. Not only was the guiding spirit of the entire two-day deliberations, but here onwards also, I'm sure her blessings will show us the path. I must also refer to the continued support coming from Swami Amruta Sarupanandaji, who is here along with all of us. And he has been a solid support behind all those who were working for the success of this conference. I must also, with gratitude, refer to the contributions and the support coming from Nivirita Bhideji of the Vivekananda Kendra, Vasuki Kalyana Sundaramji of uh, Satsanga Foundation and Sri M. And of course, our two young Susherpads, Professor Swadesh and Sri D.M. Kiran. I must also refer to the support that came from the local civil society organizations. Satyanarayan Jinnuwal, the president of the local reception committee is right here on the dais. He and several his colleagues went out of way to ensure that we are all here receiving the and experiencing the hospitality of Nagpur. I mean, we are going back, not with uh, just sweet oranges, but I'm sure a lot many sweet memories as well. I must also mention the support that came from the municipal commissioner over here, the chairman of the Nagpur Development Authority, the divisional commissioner, Vijaya Lakshmiji, who was all along supportive, the local police also, and of course, the local hotel staff of the Radisson. I must express my, my our thanks to the hotel administration as well. Along with all these people, there was a band of social workers, voluntary workers, who were uh, all along, not just during the day, but even in late hours in the night as well, they were working to ensure that all of us are received well over here and every arrangement is flawless. Amongst them, it's a huge list, but I'll just uh, mention as a, as, a, as a token of our uh, gratitude towards all of them, some key persons I'm referring, but I'm sure that it's a huge list but let me refer to Jayant Pathakji. If uh, Jayanji is there, if please identify yourself and offer pranams to the entire... Uh... <laughs> he was right there at the airport. Many of you must have first of all met with him when he received all of you. Then our friend and senior uh, social worker here, Shailesh Joglekarji. Another uh, social worker, volunteer, Pankaj Gautamji. Pankajji. And you, some of you might have seen that uh, the media has also covered this conference very positively and they have been able to capture the constructive spirit of the deliberations. And this was handled by Parinita Fukeji, who is uh, one of our volunteers taking care of the media. <laughs> Along with all these people who are the Nagpurians, there were others who came from other places also, like uh, Pune, Jalgaon, Mumbai, and they also contributed as part of the C20 Secretariat team. Amongst them was our Jayant Kulkarni. Dr. Jayant Kulkarni is there. He is the <laughs> executive director of Rambhav Mahargi Prabodhini. Then, uh, a part of the team, Ratnakar Patil, who came specially from Jalgaon here. <laughs> Shri Milind Arolkar, again, who came specially from Mumbai here. 
and uh, the person who worked who acted as the master of ceremony for the function yesterday and today also dr medha dikshit <laughs> ladies and gentlemen after this particular session i mean uh, after my vote of thanks there will be national anthem and after the national anthem all these volunteers will join us for a picture along with amma and nitin ji and other dignitaries after that only we are supposed to leave this hall the instructions about tomorrow's program and other details will come to you but i am sure like in indian traditions and you know maharashtra is known for ganesha festival and when we worship lord ganesh for between 2 days to 10 days depending upon local customs when we bid a goodbye to lord ganesh we say punaragamanaya which means come again thank you very much